Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play back in Astro Colony. Let's pick up where we left off. I think we were doing some farming, getting that going. Uh, actually, we'll get back to that in a second. Let me show you some things I've been thinking about. We'll do a little bit of cleanup here and then we'll get to, uh, get to working on the farming section. This little setup I did here is, has got a little, a very, strange uh, aspect to it. And it's this little belt here. I don't know why I did that. That just seems very strange to me. Uh, we can just put a block here, right? A pusher block. Let's clean this up a tiny bit. Um, we may be reworking this one significantly later. Uh, this is what? Uh, this is copper. So let's put a push on copper. Oh, I can't tell what these are copper. Okay, good. And then we will put a belt. And we'll get rid of that weird uh, little jog of belts that I've got going on over here. This is not needed. Not sure. I'm not sure quite what I was thinking there. And then all these smelters could come back now. That gives us some more room. But we'll get to that. Uh, let's take out this logic block if we can. Boom. And we should be back to where we were, but a little tiny bit cleaner. There's a belt there I can scrap. Anyway, that's one thing. And we may rework this quite a bit. We'll see. We still have to bring in ore from the planet or the planetoid. The other thing I want to show you is I've been thinking about how to hide wire uh, underneath the platforms even. And I came up with an idea. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but we can, um, if I set a floor tile here off of my pillar, then I can put little solar panels here. Boom, boom, boom. I could run solar panels, the perimeter of each tile. And you probably wouldn't even know they were there. We could, I, I pulled up some of this flooring. We could leave it there. Um, let's see, that would look like, where's my right hot bar? Here we go. Something like that. That looks a little, I don't know, maybe that's good. It looks a little beefier, right? If we do it that way. It is inset by one, which I actually kind of like. Um, and then, yeah, we could run a whole bunch of solar panels in here and then maybe find a way to hide those too. But anyway, that was an idea I had for generating more power. Uh, if we take off these little wall tiles I put up front, let's just see what that looks like. Then, then you you know, then you see them here. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. This is all just kind of aesthetics with the added bonus of getting um, some power out of it. We could do something like that. As well, that looks a little messier. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Spend like 30 more seconds here, then we'll move on to other things. Uh, let's do these ones without the floor. I don't know. We've got some options. I kind of like it with the wall. Kind of like it with the wall in front. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing to do it. Uh, doesn't seem to want to put it there now. Um, come on. It was working. Okay, I'm hitting the R key, nothing. I'm scrolling and I, oh, it got happy when I scrolled up and down. All right. Yeah. So we'll see. I think I like it with the wall and without this bottom floor panel the best and then that would theoretically hide all of these wires I mean we're still gonna see them right because we're gonna be jetpacking around here uh, a couple other observations I made that are about like kind of very big inefficiencies with the design I've got going right now and I'm not super concerned about having ultra efficiency I really don't care as long as we um, we don't hit bottlenecks I'd rather have the aesthetic that I want over perfect efficiency. So perfect efficiency would mean you got your lab next to a canteen, next to sleeping quarters, 
And then you do the same thing over here by the farms. You'd have some sleeping pods, a canteen right nearby. So everything they need to do is real close to their workstation. So they're not walking all around the uh, space station. That's the most efficient way to do it. We may gravitate towards that a little bit if we run into bottlenecks. Um, but if we don't run into bottlenecks, I'm not going to bother uh, worrying too much about perfect efficiency because I'd rather have it look the way I want it to look. Like I could envision a real station out in space. You wouldn't have, you know, stuff scattered all over. I don't think. I think you'd have like a central place. Anyway. Let's finally get back to, oh, oxygen. So I know it's probably driving people crazy that I haven't put the uh, oxygen dome up. Let's see if we can do that. I'd like to tuck it under here, actually. Uh, let's try, let's try. Like I said, I know that's probably driving people nuts. Where are you, oxygen generator? Can I sneak you under here? Gonna need to get power to this, but we can route that from underneath. And are you gonna need water? Let's see if we can just do something temporary here. In fact, I could even. How much power is this gonna take? Does it only take one? Can I put a solar here? Then. Do, oh, I need, I think I need some special thing, right? The oxygen dome, did I unlock it? Vice, generator smelter. Looking for the oxygen, is this, is this it? Oxygen barrier, it generates a barrier which restores oxygen. Uh, sure that down somewhere that's the thing i kind of wanted in the middle uh let's do it right there and then what do you need barrier needs oxygen generator barrier needs an oxygen generator active with oxygen tanks to be filled with oxygen does this need to have a belt or anything on it let's get yeah, oxygen tanks around high and that wants water right Just temporarily grab these oxygen tanks. I just want to see how this is going to work first. You now have oxygen tanks. Have to go into here, I bet. Grab these out. Okay. Let's see, is Clippy trying to tell me something? Okay, activate the barrier to restore your oxygen. Okay, I'm working on it. Trying to do. I think it looks like it needs power too, right? Let's move this out of here. Move it over just a bit just so I can see what it wants me to do. Okay, power on that side. Do you have an input belt? It doesn't look like it. I just cheat. Feel that power? Maybe not. Just experimenting till I can get this thing set up. Kind of a distraction, but I know, like I said, it's probably driving people crazy. What do you need, buddy? What do you need now? Generator active with oxygen tanks. Are you not active? Uh, that's turned on, but you want water, right? Water and power, so I gotta get water piped over here. Mm hmm. Not in the mood. Uh, let's go down here. Nice. Okay.
Okay, just to see it work, let's uh, do a water pipe. Yeah, this is kind of a mess. Do it. We'll, we'll... Are you going to be happy? Okay, it's making oxygen tanks. Just want to see it work. All right, is my oxygen replenishing? It is. There's our little dome. Uh, that is going to change. <laughs> I can assure you, because that's a mess. Uh, that is a mess. But uh, we'll we'll fix it. But at least uh, this will make some people happy, mm -hmm. I guess. So I don't have to uh, keep refilling my oxygen. I can just move my way into the dome. Uh, let's see what Clippy wants here or a bot. Build another connector. I've done it, right? We've got the connector. It's connected, Abot. We're, we're, we're good. We've done that. But maybe, maybe the next, um, maybe the next planetoid we connect to will dismiss this message, but we've really, we've already done what it's asking. We have two guys here, unless they want a second to build another connector to dock it, be able to convey mined resources. We can do that already. So I'm just going to dismiss a bot. I'm not sure how to, if I can turn that off. I'm hoping with the next planetoid we connect to, it'll, it'll register that as done. I don't know that we need a second, um, docking station. Cause I can transport materials off the planet with that one right there. Okay. Back to farming, which was the original goal. Let's see how we're doing here. Get a bunch of bread. We don't have any, um, surplus grain that tells me we can put another farm right next to this guy uh, and feed in the wheat and we'll be in good shape what I don't know yet is um, how do we get the material out of this thing I don't see like a belt output so we might need the transport robots to do that for us and that might be something we look at Actually, first, before we even put in the other farm, let's let's take a look at that kitchen. Uh, I'm just going to, oh, there it is. Oh, uh, no, that's the farm. Grab it out of here. Where are you, kitchen? There it is. I just want to see if there's outputs. No, we've got power in, grain in, in this case, and water in. So there's no output. So I'm guessing we need to use our little transport bots. Well, let's do an experiment on that. We know we want to get the food all the way up to this canteen, right? So a couple things come to mind. One is I'm thinking of putting a storage container here. And then if there's a way we can get robots, you take the bread and put it in the storage container. Then once we research the, I believe it's transport pipes, we could pipe this up two floors, have a storage container here and uh, load the bread into that. And then have transport bots on this floor, taking the bread, the final leg of the trip over to the canteen. Let's see um, if that's a thing, if that's a thing we can do. It's going to start with transport bots. Where's our, is this our robot assembler? Yeah. Can we do transport bots? Need copper plates. I should have plenty of those. 
There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we got more than enough. Ooh. I actually didn't want a bunch of these walking around. <laughs> I only wanted a few. All right, let's see what they do. Because they, I don't think they can take the stairs. But let's follow them and see where they're going, where they think they're going. If we can find them, where they went, are they taking the stairs? Okay. They made it down. Let's see. They're going to grab some bread. Open. Bread, bread, bread. Can they make their way? They must be able to make their way up those stairs. That's going to be kind of funny to see. Let's take a look. I wasn't intending on them to do that. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's nice. All right. All right. That's... I'll take it. That simplifies my logistics tremendously. Uh, they've got to go up a couple of flights. <laughs> there they go. Oh, man. That's pretty hilarious. I like it. I like it. All right. Fresh bread, fellas. And ladies and gentlemen... Grab some fresh bread. So maybe we don't have anything to worry about there. Um, I did not think they were going to be able to take the stairs like that. Problem solved. All right, let's do a mirror image farm. Um, got some things to think about here, actually. I tried to look on the Discord to see what their farm plot size is. I couldn't find anything any useful information this now looks like it's fully planted um last episode we saw only like three little plots were getting planted um our bot is actually bored which implies we could do some more plots here do we want to try that and just see if these get planted for the heck of it not beautiful but it could increase the production. Okay, he's all happy doing his watering or whatever he's doing. Um, the other thing we obviously need to work on is the water production story. Manually feeding is not gonna is not gonna be a long term solution. So we're going to need to route ice down here, which may not be a big deal. We've got a couple bots here sitting with bread that aren't moving. Are they going to... So that's not a good sign. That's a little bit of a concern. I don't know if that's a, just a visual glitch or what's going on with those. Let's see. There's one. More on the stairs. There's two, three, four. Um. Or no, it looks like a glitch, right? Am I mistaken? Mistaken on that? Transporter. Yeah, that's a problem. Can I get rid of these? Uh... Okay, let's see. It's giving us a menu. Transport bot E modify. Okay, there's nothing to do there. Control right click to remove. Let's see if we can remove these guys. Looks like a glitch to me. Unless I'm missing something obvious. I'm gonna do my control right click and say so long, fellas. Let's see if two more hop to it. They don't. That's the same number of them over there. 
Oh, and now we've got these guys stuck. Hmm. That could be an issue. That could be an issue. I think there's no reason these wouldn't... Let's delete these guys out. Um, boy, they left little marks on the floor. That, like the pathing indicators. Yeah, they're still there. Huh. Well, I think we've got some glitching with that. Is there any default setting here that triggered those bots in the first place? Don't see anything. So we may be stuck transporting the food ourselves, it looks like. Um, which isn't a huge deal. A little unfortunate. Uh, we don't seem to have the option to use belts at all for this. Because there's no output. Okay, there's a bot going about his business here. Um, we'll see. We'll just ignore all that. We'll see how it plays out. Let's get another farm going. And I want to do this kind of mirror image, I think. Because I want it to feed in here. We could... Uh, let's see, let's see. We're going to have one, two, I'm going to count the, how big this thing's going to take. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, theoretically eight tiles. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um... Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Let's just start from here. Two in, and I'm going to do the field first. And I think we were doing kind of this routine, right? It won't be mirror image. It's just going to be another copy. And this. And I think we get an upgraded farm, too. So it could be this doesn't last forever. The way we're doing it. Uh, that goes there. I'm missing. I'm missing carbon fiber. Got some of that being produced over here. Grab it. Put you down right there. And we can belt across. Boom. Belt here, boom. Water just continues on. I don't know if the bots are going to be able to get around this water pipe. Could run it underneath. That can intersect with our other wires, of course. Uh, I don't remind. I don't mind running it up here. Let's see if the bots can reach the the uh, the kitchen, even if we've got water pipe going through here. And then let's hook up the power. Try popping this guy down first. Taking out the floor. Down we go. Run this wire. I'm back to the main trunk. Uh, did I do it wrong? I did. The main trunk is this way. We'll try to be consistent with how we wire. Won't do many wires going in this direction. Oh, oh, oh. There's a um, technique for multi-delete here. It is what? Is it Q? And then... Um, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. <laughs> I thought it was Q, and then you could multi-select. 
we'll try again. We'll try again later. Uh, let's get this configured to actually grow something. It is set to wheat. We do need a farmer and that is just a bot, right? And I make that over here. We'll get under the oxygen dome. That'll recharge us to farmer one. And what do you need? You're going to need, you got everything you need. Farmer bot. I think these can only take one bot each, this level farm anyway, right? Needed one of one, and I can't crank that up. We did have one bot come by and carry bread. I wonder if he's stuck over there by the canteen. Looks like it. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Is there bread to actually transfer right now? There is. Yeah, I don't know. We may have to wait for a fix on the bots or something. Or we can't, the bots can't get here. Let's, um, let's experiment with that if that's the case. Let's do pillar here. Falls like this. Those two can go. I'm just going to put a little crosswalk here where they can get across if they want to. Will they use it? Probably not. Uh, probably not. In fact, it doesn't need to be this wide. <laughs> the astro uh, okay. Maybe the astronauts need it too. I don't know. I don't know. It's there. Bot doing anything? Probably not. No, he's just hanging out by the canteen. All right. That is what it is. I don't think we can do too much about it. All right. We've got farms, a farm going, or two farms. Is our other bot doing its thing? Where are you? Curious to know if we have another farmer bot working or not. I don't see any activity. Uh, are we short on water or anything? We're producing water. Here's our farmer bot sitting there waiting. Maybe he doesn't have enough of something. Uh, look at our network. Consumption 143 and production 132. We've got power issues already. Hmm. <laughs> could experiment with our little plan here and hook up a bunch more power. Let's try it. This involves this involves running flooring here, which is not easy to do. Can we get this thing to actually Looks like that's going to work for me. Try it. We'll see how much I have. Not enough. We're going to need to go make some gold wire. Get these hooked up first. I wonder what that is. Is that the bottom of something? Flipping through? Yeah, I guess the lab or something. Interesting. A wire. Uh, obviously, it's going to go all the way over to here eventually, so let's just put it down. And then how do we want to connect back up? We had this notion of a main trunk running down the middle, but 
we have a stairway down the middle. Maybe, maybe this becomes our main trunk through here. And then this guy connects, I don't know, roughly in the middle. Would be 14 blocks, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This becomes path to the main network. Something like that. Okay, let's see what that did to our power situation. Okay, consumption's at 143 and production's at 150, so we should be good. Let's see if our farm kicks on, our little farm bot. Doesn't look like he wants to do anything. Are you lacking water? Hmm. What do you need? What do you need? You got the power you need. You've got water stored. You've got wheat. Do I need to... Oh, do I need to do... There we go. There we go. We just need to click on the wheat. He's planting away. This guy looks like he's got more land than he can manage, which is fine. And we've got surplus capacity in the kitchen with two cooks working. We've got bread being produced a lot faster than our astronauts are eating it. We've got a surplus of that. That's all, I think, pretty good. The weakness here is we don't have the, uh, the water automated. In fact, we don't have any of the ice processing or coal automated coming out of our collectors here. So it's just kind of stacking up. That's something we need to get to. Let's take a look at the tech tree. And I'm kind of curious about transport tubes for sure, right? We want to try that. That is, what is that going to cost me? Not much. 10 chemistry science. Uh, we're doing good. Let's grab transport tubes for sure. And then I was curious about... I, could, I was curious about finishing my sentences. I was curious about the advanced farming. Let's see where that is. Agricultural, meal preparation, forestry, and then... Oh boy, advanced farming. Advanced robotics, advanced cultivation... Advanced transport tubes. Let's go back and see what else. We've got advanced logistics. That would allow us to upgrade a lot of our belts. That might help even our asteroid mining situation. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. And let's take a look at real quick down here. Is there a way that we can upgrade these belts? Is it a point in a U? That's what I think it used to be. We just point at it and hit U. Okay, now it says, it says conveyor ramp down. Conveyor belt pro. Okay, that's upgrading them. Boy, visually, I don't see a difference. That's... Okay. Mirable Pro. Let's see if we can do that multi-select tool now. You, can I just, how do I do this? Okay. Remove, rotate right, rotate left, upgrade. I thought there was something up here. Menu to multi-select stuff. Okay, I'm on Q. Can I point and shift? <laughs> That's not going to do it. Um, How do I select multiple blocks? There's a way. Okay, there's control. There's shift. Obviously, it's just going to move us forward. Right click, drag, nothing. Primary click, drag, nothing. Look one more time, see if I'm missing something. Construction, map, 
pause menu, pickaxe, inventory. Yeah, I'll have to look it up again. Maybe, was it K? I think so. No. Nope. All right. So let's. Oh, 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 maybe this guy? Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. Got you selected. Can I just upgrade all this? Boom. Very belt pro. So that's how we do it. Just gotta make sure I have this tool. Let's see. Are these? Yeah, they're moving faster. Select all these belts. You. Oh, oh. Get them locked or no resources. I need stuff I don't have. Do that. Look for paths. Here's the upgraded belts. Oh, they're a slightly different color. I can kind of tell that these are two different colors. So let's see. I might be able to pick these out. Looks like we need one of those things. Is that screws? Gears. We need gears to do the upgrades. Where are the gears made? Gears are here and they want steel screws. Take them. Make me some gears. Lots of gold wire. Let's grab that. Gold bars? I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot. I do not have a lot of gold bars. This is our gold line. We got 27 sitting in there. And I just dumped some rock and stuff in here just to get it out of my inventory. I figured that storage is never going to get full. While we're down here, let's grab some copper and some iron. Head up top. And let's make sure we're making these guys steel screws. You need iron rods for that. Tons of copper plate. Let's get some gold going too that we can turn into even more wire. And then this guy should be doing screws for us. I'm gonna grab a hold of those. And you need carbon and iron plates. Got lots. Take them and take that for now too and give me more screws. Uh, copper ore to smelt. I think that's it there. Does this guy have more? Yeah, look at all these plates for me to take. Uh, on all of them. I, I always do that. This way. For some reason, I just do not do the control click or something. All right. Um, yeah, we got our dome. We've got two farms going. We tried the bots. The bots are failing or transport bots. I don't know if they're getting confused on the stairs. I had thought about piping up things to this floor and just using the bots within a, within a single floor. I don't even know if that's possible. I would have to place a storage and then, I don't know, filter that storage or something to just do the bread or the food items. I'm not even sure if that's a thing. It doesn't look like it. So I don't know if there's a way I can kind of... Oh, transport bot requests. Add requested resources. All right, let's try it before we end the episode. We can just throw storage down here. Doesn't matter, we're just testing. And add requested resources. I want the bread. Oh no, different icons. Different icons for this. Oh no, there it is right there, boom. My bad. Take it back. Okay, let's see if we get anybody. Here comes a bot. So yeah, my original plan was just on this single floor, have bots grab the bread and bring it over to a storage container, 
then run the conveyor pipe or the transport tube up to another. Oh, this looks maybe we're gonna get uh maybe we're gonna get this to work. Do the bots take the stairway? They do. We may have a solution for the bots not wanting to transport things between floors issue, or we may not. <laughs> we may not. Are they waiting for bread? They are waiting. We don't have flour. What's going on, fellas? Probably water issue, maybe? No, we got tons of water. Those tanks are full. Uh, water, water. Door 331. Power situation, what's going on here? Power 143 out of 150, we should be good. Where are my bots? Okay, this guy, what's going on? Did I hit pause or something? Oh man, it's not looking good. This guy looks like he says he's blocked or something. Oh, something's failing. They've got power, they've got water. This guy was working just fine. What's going on, farmer? Just looking to see if I can detect what the problem is. Production minus one, 366 stored. Consumption five on water. 100% efficiency. And both my farmer bots are kind of stuck. That's a problem because I need grain. This guy doesn't have anything really to do. He's faking it. Oh, what's going on? Uh, let's reboot. Turn off, turn on, maybe. Power down the farm. Kick it on. These guys are waiting for something to transport. Let's, uh, give them something to transport and just see if they are working. Did I grab that bread? Same thing. Boom. Two into here. Okay, they're willing to work. But they're not the issue, I don't think. But what is going on with my farmer bots? Um, turn that off. And rejigger it. Power. Not happy about this. Up comes the farm. I don't think I can take out this farm bot. Take it back. Looks like I can. Let's replace the farm. This worked once before with the um, sleeping pods. I may need to produce another bot. Nope, here comes the bot. Let's see if the... Okay, now he's going to work. This one is where? Oh! No, it's the bot from next door that came over and worked that field. Hmm... I'm okay with that. Let's make another farmer bot. And then we'll call it an episode. Yeah, I'm running kind of long here. Doing some experimenting. We got our little oxygen bubble. And we've got some messes to clean up, though, unfortunately. Let's do just one more farmer bot. Okay, the robot is transporting the bread. 
storage, which is right. That's what I want. This farmer bot's helping out the other plot. I'm fine with that. I guess it's fine. We should have another farmer bot make their way over here soon. Here it comes. There it is, straight ahead. On the stairs we go. We'll remember to upgrade these belts. I don't see a color change down here. I see a color change on the graphic where we select them to craft, but these don't look different. So maybe that's not been updated yet. All right, do we have another farmer bot working for us? You actually need a way to get to your plot. This guy can hop a belt clearly, right? Why doesn't this guy have a belt? I haven't selected the grain. All right, we have our two farmer bots going again. A little bit glitchy. A little bit glitchy, and our transport bots are also a little bit glitchy. At least that's how I'm interpreting what's what I'm seeing here. Should mention I'm posting this up or I'm recording this episode when episode I think eight has just posted to the channel. I'm a little further ahead, and um, it's possible that a fix for this has already been put in place by the time this video airs. So just just keep that in mind. Um, a bot keeps telling me the same thing. Uh, we've already got this planetoid docked, like I said. So hopefully, next planetoid we connect to, we can uh, clear that message from coming up. So we've got some basic farming. We've got the ability to upgrade our belts. We'll look to do that. Maybe I'll do some of that between episodes. We discovered or we talked about a new way to kind of shore up our power and then maybe hide some of the cabling all in one shot by doing this kind of thing, putting a bunch of solar panels here. Got the, I believe I have the gold wire to do it. So I'll do more of that maybe between episodes or maybe we'll do some of that together. I think next episode, what we want to do is get serious about mining out this planetoid. And then once we feel like we've got enough advanced miners placed and we're routing, sorting, and smelting all the material, then maybe we fire up our thrusters here and head over to another planetoid while this one's being mined out. That's kind of my plan. Between episodes, I may build out me build out this section here, put a couple platforms here, because I'm thinking this may be where we do our sorting of the sorting of the ores, and then um, more smelting. We've got uh, aluminum now that we can smelt. Can we use the basic smelters for that? I think we looked at this and saw we can't, right? No, so we'll need advanced smelters. But yeah, that I think is what we want to do next episode, get working on kind of advanced planet harvesting we're okay for food now we may also work on running a transport tube up here and putting another um storage container and piping in that that red and then seeing if our um, transfer bots will make it the last mile here but they aren't crazy about Traversing the floors, or at least we're seeing problems with that. Let's just see. Is there any inventory of bread? No, they are picking it up now. Assume maybe we've got farmers blocked though. Guessing that means the farmer is blocked on something. This field's empty. That one's stuck. I have no idea what's going on here. We're producing water. These tanks are literally like overflowing with it. We're probably wasting water. I'm going to grab that ice back. I'm 
Not sure if it's these water pipes. Maybe I can experiment with some of this between episodes too and see if there's some kind of pathing issue. This farmer is just glitched, right? Not doing anything. And this farmer bot thinks it's blocked. The field is right there. Not sure what the issue could be. A little disappointed because we've seen these guys hop the belts. I don't think that's an issue. Bummer. Yeah, not crazy about that. Anyway, let's wrap it here for now, Sclattercat. And thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series on Astro Colony. Very, very cool game. I'm playing in early access. The game released, I don't know, about seven days ago, or probably eight days ago. And uh, pretty cool. He's putting out a lot of updates. So hopefully those issues that we're seeing with the bots and our farmers will get uh, addressed. Or I will learn what I'm doing wrong. But they were working and they suddenly stopped. So I'm thinking it's not me. But yeah, pretty cool. I want to thank Gladdercat patrons and channel members, as I always do. Their support of the channel is what keeps it alive and allows me to make this content deeply, deeply appreciated. And thanks to all new subscribers to the Gladdercat channel. This series is bringing in a lot of new people. Hope you enjoy the channel. Check out what I've got to offer here. I have over 25 automation games on the channel as I record this. So, man, expand your horizons. Take a look and see what's there. And uh, have some fun with some other games. But for now, yeah, sign off for now, and I'll see you all in the next episode.